You can't fight for dust, says Zelensky. AP, Evgeny Malaletka. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Saturday that he is committed to pressing for peace despite Russian attacks on civilians that have stunned the world. And he renewed his plea for more weapons ahead of an expected surge in fighting in the country's east. He made the comments in an interview with the Associated Press a day after at least 52 people were in a strike on a train station in the eastern city of Kramatorsk. And as evidence of civilian ings came to light after Russian troops failed to seize the capital, where he has hunkered down, Kiev. No one wants to negotiate with a person or people who tortured this nation. It's all understandable. And as a man, as a father, I understand this very well, Zelensky said. But, we don't want to lose opportunities, if we have them, for a diplomatic solution. Wearing the olive drab that has marked his transformation into a wartime leader, he looked visibly exhausted yet animated by a drive to persevere. He spoke to the AP inside the presidential office complex, where windows and hallways are protected by towers of sandbags and heavily armed soldiers. We have to fight, but fight for life. You can't fight for dust when there is nothing and no people. That's why it is important to stop this war, Zelensky said. Russian troops that withdrew from northern Ukraine are now regrouping for what is expected to be an intensified push to retake the eastern Donbass region, including the besieged port city of Mariupol that Ukrainian fighters are striving to defend. The president said those defenders are tying up a big part of the enemy forces characterizing the battle to hold Mariupol as the heart of the war right now. It's beating. We're fighting. We're strong. And if it stops beating, we will be in a weaker position, he said.